Plugins, you wanna know how to add them to your Minecraft server? Well, first things first, you need the right kind of server, and that's gonna be paper. There's also, uh, Purpur is another one that is out there. Both of those are, are good to add plugins to. We specifically have an in-depth guide on getting a paper server up and running in the description, and in this video, we have already got our paper server up and running, right here it is. So if you don't have a paper or a per per server up and running, well guess what, you need to go through this tutorial here to get that. Once you have it though, you can download some plugins. So as you can see here, we have a list, of course linked in the description, of 15 must have plugins for bucket, spigot, paper, it doesn't matter which kind of server you have, it works on all of them. Now one that's truly a must have is Essentials X. Essentials X is well, the essential Minecraft plugin. We'll also go ahead and grab World Edit. I've literally not thought about which ones of these I want to get today. And uh, let's go ahead and grab, I don't know, what would be a fun one here? Player Warps. So with these, we can now go ahead and go to the download page. Most of these are going to be hosted on Bucket or Spigot. This one's hosted on Spigot. If we click Download Now, it's going to take us to this website where we can download all the different add-ons and stuff like that. You must download Essentials X, but you can also download others. So I'm going to download both of these, Chat and Spawn. From there, we can move on to World Edit, which is hosted on Bucket. Here you can go to File, right here, and you'll see all the different options. As you can see, we have World Edit 1.19.4. Click the Download button there, and it will go ahead and start downloading. Last but not least is Player Warps, and this is downloaded directly from Paper. You can see that this works on all of these Minecraft versions here, so we can click download and we're good to go. Now you may need to keep or save these files depending on the browser that you're using, but that really just does depend on the browser and the security settings. 100% safe to do that as long as you're downloading it from our resources. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and also download Vault. You might be like, what is this? Well, it's actually just a Minecraft plugin and um, it's needed for Essentials and a lot of other plugins to work. Also in the description, we have this, which is an in-depth guide on so many plugins. As you can see, we have done over 39 plugin guides, so uh, go check this out. It's in the description if you do want additional help. But now that you've got your plugins downloaded, let's go ahead and move them to our desktop. They're gonna be located in our downloads folder here. Drag them to the desktop because that's gonna be the easiest way to add them to our server. How do you do that? Well, just go ahead and open up your server's directory and then drag and drop them into the plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, you don't have a server that accepts plugins. So it's gonna be, like I said, Paper or Purper are the two of the most popular ones right now. If you don't have the plugins folder, you need to go make one of those types of servers. So then just drag and drop your plugins in here. It's that simple. You can then go ahead and double click on the run.bat file and your server is gonna start with your plugins. Now, one of the coolest things is as this generates, you'll see here folders start to appear with config files. So we can come in here and we can edit this config file, for example, in if we go to a VS code. Actually, don't seem to have VS code on this computer. Um, you should honestly open this with like a actual coding app, but for the purpose of this tutorial, Notepad will work as well. It just looks very bad and can sometimes cause issues when saving. So don't use Notepad, but you can kind of see this is what it looks like. Uh, I will put a link to VS code in the description down below so you can get that. I'll also install it, but that's where your plugin files and uh, folders and config can be found. As you can see, here's essentials all of that stuff. Every single plugin has some sort of a config. To test these on your server, you can obviously join on in to the server. It's gonna be right like so for us, just the local host. And then from here, we can actually do slash plugins in game and boom, there is all the plugins. If they're green, they're enabled. If they're red, they're not enabled. Sometimes they'll be yellow, which means there's kind of like an error, but they're still working. Very rarely does that happen though. And uh, yeah, you can also do things like uh, slash set spawn or slash spawn with essentials. Oh, you need to be opt as well on your server to use commands. There are plugins that allow you to set permissions and the most popular one is luck perms. I would recommend adding that as soon as possible and getting your permissions set. But yeah, now we've set spawn so we can do that command. Boom, there you go. That's how you can add plugins to your Minecraft server. If you have any questions, of course, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to check out the links in the description. There's tons of amazing information there that uh, we sadly don't have time to cover in the video that will help you with adding plugins, finding plugins, all that stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.